Welcome all back to Juke's Joint. I am your host, Greg Juke, and today we have a little bit of a studio tip for you if you want to look at it that way. I've been working with some students on electronic music and they were trying to make trap beats, trap rap beats uh, in GarageBand. And uh, to learn how to teach them how to do that, I had to figure out a few things myself. So I did make a whole track, uh, uh, you know, about eight bars of music with some vocals. If you want to hear that and know more about what I did and how I did it, then let me know in the comments section, because I'll be glad to put together a whole breakdown of the entire thing, but I'm not going to do that unless I know that there's some interest. In the meantime, today what we're looking at is just the drums. How do you get some trap drums out of the basic production elements available in GarageBand? So let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so this is sort of the typical busy sound associated with today's uh, rap uh, rhythms, at least from the drum line. Uh, you know, lots of activity in the bass drum and the hi-hats. Lots of what we live drummers would call five and seven stroke rolls and triplets and things on the hats, giving that forward momentum. How do you get that out of the grid-based virtual drum machine in GarageBand or any of these other programs. Well, here's a tip on GarageBand that you may be able to apply elsewhere as well. So you're going to start with the basic drum app within the GarageBand app. So open up GarageBand and you'll go to tracks rather than live loops and scroll along until you get to drums, not drummer, which is a separate, um, you know, drum a uh, uh, little mini app that you can work with within the program. If you have the latest edition of GarageBand, you're gonna go to drums. There's a little picture of a snare drum there. And then you go to smart drums and you'll see a grid like this. And you put in your rhythm. Now what's gonna happen is because it's based on, you know, these blocks that are either considered depending on the tempo, you know, eighth notes or quarter notes or 16th notes, uh, it will sound rather stilted or straight because it's going to grid all these notes for you real straight as eighth notes or sixteenth notes. And uh, you want to be able to make that a little more uh, funky and busy like trap is supposed to be. So when you first work out your rhythm, it will probably sound pretty straight, sort of like this right here. So how do we take that basic straight groove and make it a little more funky and give it a little more forward momentum and maybe, you know, just jazz it up a bit with a typical trap sound? You're going to go to your lower uh, right-hand quadrant of the screen and you'll see a control for step, note on or off. That's basically putting in the different colored blocks for each instrument part of the drum set. Right next to that, you'll see note repeat, or it might be on velocity, and you can switch and toggle that to note repeat. And as you can see, I'm adding subdivisions now to each of these blocks. You can make them triplets, you can make them you know, doubles, you can make them uh, uh, quadruplets or quintuplets or whatever you like. So at your will and at your creative pleasure, change up some of those bass drums, change up the hi-hats, and see what you can come up with to make it a little more trappy sounding. Uh, you also notice that you have a control for not only note repeat, but you have velocity. And if you want to um, change some of the dynamics within your structure, you wanna make the bass drum louder or parts of the bass drums louder, hi-hats, whatever, you can change velocity right in there. So try those things out and let's see what you come up with. 